Hello my dear students, I hope all of you are doing well. Today we are going to start with the memoirs of the great Chilean poet and author Pablo Neruda. So Neruda was a great poet. He won the Nobel Prize. He came from Latin America. He was Chile's ambassador to Spain and also to Sri Lanka. He died in 1973, apparently poisoned by the uh, right-wing regime of Auguste Pinochet in Chile. So Auguste Pinochet's deposition of Salvador Allende uh, is the other September 11, the most infamous uh, event in the history of Chile. So let's go into the autobiography of Pablo Neruda titled Memoirs. The section we have to study is called Words. In this particular section, Pablo Neruda speaks to us of his, uh, his the history of his engagement with words. What do words mean to him? How do we approach words? How should we treat words? How do we savor words? How do you trap words? How do you run words down? How do you relish words? How to use words in living circumstances? So all of you are familiar with using words in sentences. In all our examinations, you will have a question used in sentence. But here, Pablo Neruda tells us, we have to use words as part of our own being, as part of our own body. Like we digest food, we also have to digest whatever we are reading or we are writing. So words become part of us. So words are part of our li life world and our lived ecosystem. So words are inseparable parts of our existence. So Pablo Neruda, he was born as Neftali Ricardo Reyes Basalto. So Pablo Neruda is his pseudonym, is his pen name. He was born on 12 July 1904 in a place called Pajal in Chile. So Chile is a republic in Latin America. It's very similar to Kerala in geographical uh, form. So he is uh, Chile's most beloved poet. He was a staunch supporter of the Communist Party and he was also a great admirer of uh, the Russian president, USSR president, Soviet president Joseph Stalin and also of Filgenico Batista and Fidel Castro. He was a great friend of the great Fidel Castro. So Pablo Neruda's father was a railway employee and his mother was a teacher. So Neruda started writing poems at an early age of 13. When he was 13 years old, he started writing poems. But when he grew up in his adolescence, he started publishing in major journals in Chile and in the Spanish world and he became one of the greatest authors in the Spanish speaking world and also in the entire world. So some of his major works are Residence on Earth, Canto General, 20 Love Poems and A Song of Despair, Pain in My Heart and Then Come Back, The Lost Neruda. So one of his most famous anthologies or collections of poems was 20 Love Poems and A Song of Despair. Okay. So Neruda was hugely famous during his lifetime. So his poems were published in Germany, Czechoslovakia, China, Denmark, Hungary, United States, Soviet Union, Mexico, Cuba, Colombia, Guatemala, Argentina, all over the world. In India also, he had a huge uh, number of readers. Not just that, he exerted a considerable influence on modernist poetry. So Neruda famously said that the only one who really actually understood him was T.S. Eliot, the American modernist poet. Okay, so he said that only T.S. Eliot understands me. So that's a, a statement attributed to Pablo Neruda. So Pablo Neruda felt that no one understood him better than T.S. Eliot. So Eliot also was an admirer of Pablo Neruda's poetry. Okay, so Pablo Neruda says that when Eliot started writing poems, I locked myself in the bathroom because he did not want to lose a passionate reader. That's a bit cryptic, but let's leave it at that. So Pablo Neruda passed away in 1973. He was a huge fan of the Cuban Revolution. So he once is supposed to have said, I became the first poet to devote an entire book to praising the Cuban Revolution. Okay, so he had an uncompromising stand towards persecution and exploitation and oppression of the masses. He hated war and the ravages of war and the hatred that war engendered. He believed in the power of love. Some of his most famous poems are love poems. 
like you know um, uh, about um, the cherry tree and spring and also tonight i will sing the saddest lines so his poems and lines are very familiar to a malayali audience so today we are going to study words his very famous poem called words you can say anything you want yes sir but it's the words that sing they roar and descend i bow to them i laugh i love them i cling to them i run them down i bite into them i melt them down i love words so much the unexpected ones the ones i wait for greedily of stock until suddenly they drop vowels i laugh they glitter like colored stones they leap like silver fish they are from thread form metal dew i run after certain words they are so beautiful that i want to fit them all into my poem i catch them in mid flight as they buzz past i trap them clean them peel them i set myself in front of the dish they have a crystalline texture to me vibrant ivory vegetable oily like fruit like algae like a gate so let's finish this poem in our next class thank you so much for joining goodbye